what's up scorpio kings queens and everything in between i am austria of a mother queen and today i will be channeling the collective of scorpio sun moon rise and venus and mercury in regards to a 10-day forecast for the 23rd through the 1st please keep in mind that the time frame is specifically for me and whenever you see this message that is when you are meant to see it it can be past present or future some of y'all don't want to fucking talk okay all right, this could be energy um, from someone new coming in, someone from your past here, someone that you're currently dealing with. All right. Thank you, Sarah, for clearing precise messages here. All right. All right. All right, y'all. I know I've been missing for a little bit. I wasn't feeling 100%. My son and I... So I had to get us back right, all right? But I'm back. And if y'all hear me sounding nasally, that's the fuck why. So it was either nasal or no video, okay? All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and jump into this here. Thank you, Spear, for playing concise messages. For Scorpio, Southern Madison. Goodness, okay. Okay. So we got... Divine timing in the reverse. It says, trust in the perfection of divine timing. So somebody is not trusting in the perfection of divine timing. All right. Some of you could be feeling like time is running out. Okay. All right. So we got ending. I know endings are painful, but it's best that we move on for now. All right. Okay. We got commitment. Let's take it to the next level because nobody else matters. All right. For some of you, like once you decided that um, you were done with something, somebody else decided to come around, <laughs> which is, listen, definitely the twin flame journey. It's always about the chaser and the runner. So it says, I remember who you are. I've loved you before. Okay. All right, y'all, let's see. We got under pressure. I'm under a lot of pressure. Please be understanding. All right, and they may have been under a lot of pressure, but I feel like they still got their shit together, though. You know, enough to want to be able to come towards you towards, for some sort of commitment here because this ain't miracles. I know you lost hope in us, but I'm going to surprise you, and I feel like they are because we got soul contract behind it. My soul recognizes there's a sacred contract to fulfill, right? Um, it also has casual sex. Uh, let's be friends with benefits and leave emotions out of it. I feel like that's where you guys were for a while. I feel like you guys were in a place where it was like a friends with benefits shit. And, you know, then it was time to switch that shit up. All right. Let's see. Look up the spirit number 321, y'all. I just seen that. All right. Let's see what other messages we have for you guys, Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing precise messages for Scorpio, Summer Rise, and Venus, and Mercury. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Well, I guess. All right, so we got answers here. Then we got fertility. I knew this shit was going to come out. So either some of y'all are going to some sort of new relationship or something new is, uh, or like something new is coming to be. Like I said, you left some shit and now this person wants to, you know, commit now. Or it's the energy of like somebody is getting pregnant here. All right, thank you. Some of you can deal with the Taurus or Libra. But I'm definitely getting like somebody is about to be getting some answers. All right, Spirit, I got you. All right, we got freedom here. All right, so we also have good luck at the bottom and blessings. All right, so I feel like there's definitely going to be some sort of beneficial union that comes out of this, especially because we got clarity outside of that. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and see. 
All right, let's get a bit more here. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing concise messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and Mercury. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, some of y'all definitely either are, are getting somebody pregnant, you're pregnant, or you don't know that you're pregnant. Something about some pregnancy. I don't know why this is what's coming out. Give me answers, Spirit. Why is answers here? Why is answers here, Spirit? Answers to what? Hmm. Hmm. Receipts. Single. Mm. Hate it when I see it. All right. So somebody is going to... I feel like somebody call themselves being funny, right? <laughs> and, like, maybe when you were, like, off or not, you know, like I said, there was some sort of ending. And while you guys were not together, this person could have been, you know, dealing with somebody on the side or whatever. And this person wanted to make their presence known, you know? Yeah, see, look, when that commitment, look, when that commitment come, when that commitment come, somebody big mad. Somebody find out on social media of what's going on and they pissed. Mm. Ain't that how it be, though? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Give me more spirit. What's here for fertility? Why the fertility is yes, spirit? Thank you. Mm. Y'all saw that shit flip? Y'all seen it. All right, so we got tragedy, forbidden love, twin flames, the the one mirrored soul's place. So we've been saying that shit. So we got twin flames out here twice. So it's it's a thing. It's a thing. All right. I feel like you know, um, you guys have a hard time bringing this into fruition, and I feel like a lot of you is because of a lot of pride here. Um, you guys, uh, it's hard for you guys to see each other's point of view. Don't make it difficult, okay? Because, look, this is what you've been waiting for. Wish, praying, yearning. Two or more people discussing, planning. And I feel like there's a lot of anxiety surrounded around this, okay? Also, some of you may feel like this is some sort of forbidden love. Like, you and this person are not supposed to end up together or something like this. Give me more here for freedom, spirit. Give me one more for freedom. Thank you. Uh, listen. Anxiety, scared, panic, and cleansing. Meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. So once you clear that energy there, that's when you will be free to be able to really move on in regards to this relationship. Because I feel like for a lot of you, the feeling of being under pressure is what's kind of keeping both of you at bay or both of you in a place where you can't, you don't feel like you can like move towards each other because it's never other people. And don't let, like I said, listen, karmic third party relationship lessons. Like I said, look, look, can't make this shit up. Recalling, reminiscing, memories returning, right? And then that's when somebody want to fucking um, reveal something. That's when somebody want to fucking tell what type of relationship they have with your person. Baby, we was not together. They don't have shit to do with me. All right, let's see. Let's see. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing concise messages. Give me more here. Answers. Single on the seat. Give me more. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. <laughs> so funny so funny 
So, four of swords and the eight of pentacles in the reverse. When, they, when this other person found out that this person did not want them, this person disconnected from this situation, this person was pretty much like, mm, I'm bored, you know what I'm saying? I'm going back home, you know? It was like, yeah, they put some distance between them and this person. That is when this person wanted to fucking come out and give you all of these answers wanted to tell you what was going on six of cups here with the two of pentacles once that with the two of pentacles in the reverse you see what i'm saying now the two of pentacles is all about multitasking and shit like that it's also about an imbalance right and in the reverse is definitely about an imbalance or some sort of in, um, instability or ne neglect and shit, right? When they started neglecting this person and started to fix this relationship with you and started to heal this relationship with you because you are the fucking six of cups, all right? And this when this person got mad and now they want to tell you everything. When they want to come try to fix and heal the relationship with you. That shit weak and crazy as hell. Like, don't bring me no motherfucking shit because you're mad that they no longer want you. Like, why why is this my problem? Call call that motherfucker. Don't don't hit me up. I like I know you hurt. Shit. I know you hurt. But what that gotta do with me? Alright, give me more. Give me more here for tragedy and twin flames. I feel like for some of you, this person could be pregnant. This person on the side could be pregnant for some. Yeah, see, look, Ace of Pentacles, King of Swords, could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or Taurus or Gemini here. Um, but this, I feel like it wasn't supposed to be like this. I feel like this person was maybe supposed to, um, didn't say that they were pregnant or said that they were on some sort of, like, contraceptives or some shit like that, right? I feel like something was not supposed to happen, right? Something was not supposed to happen, and I feel like your person could be very pissed about this, right? I'm also getting like this person could have maybe been a bit manipulative in how they even did this shit, right? Okay? Because I feel like your person may not even be aware of this or they're not even sure how this shit happened. Okay? Mm, 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 mm. Mm -mm. Y'all see how that look like an egg going to sperm. I mean, a sperm's going to egg. Y'all see that though, right? Okay, I don't know it ain't just me. It's so crazy. I be seeing different shit all the time with these fucking cards. Then we got the moon here with the hermit card, with the ace of cups in the reverse. So it's like, once the motherfucker said that they was done, and all of a sudden, now I'm pregnant. I don't know what's going on, Joe. Can we deal with the cancer or a Virgo here? I feel like this person... They just holding this secret. For some of you, this could be a lie, though. That this is a way of your per this person trying to hold on to this person. For a lot of you, this could definitely be a lie. Let's see what's coming up. Yes. Get a test, y'all. Get a test. Get a test, because this person is, does not want to let this other your person go. That's what I'm getting. This person does not want to let your person go, y'all. Yeah, get a test. Yeah, get a test, y'all. Mm-hmm. Because the shit is over. Two of Wands in the, in the reverse, shit is over. This person feels powerless to it, you know. There's an imbalance because this person is no longer pouring into this old person, right? And this person don't want to move on, you know? This person feels defeated or there's a sense of resistance to this ending, okay? So just get a test. Get this person to get a test or tell this person, you know, whenever um, whenever they want to go get the test, then that's when that shit can happen because, yeah, this person is trying to, you know, transform this relationship into something different. Aries Gemini energy with the magician. They don't want this person to have this new beginning with you. You know what I'm saying? It's like they want some sort of renewal here. Okay? They want they want to be able to heal this relationship with this person. And that's 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 that look. That's why. That's why. That's why they're not letting this shit go. That's why they're not letting your person go. All right, let's see. 
Thank you, Spirit, for clearing concise messages. Thank you. Give me more about the Four of Swords here. Give me the Four of Swords. Thank you. All right, yeah, we got the Seven of Swords. Yeah, they lying. Mm-hmm. They being manipulative. When this person decided to cut them off or no longer deal with them, yeah. This one, this person decided that they was going to be motherfucking manipulative and go for fucking <laughs> tricks and shit. Six of Cups in the reverse, right. When they stop pouring into this relationship, yeah, this person can't be trusted. Mm-hmm. They can't be trusted. This person is suffering, okay? This is all because of this separation. Everything that this person is telling you, take with a grain of salt. They are definitely fucking hurt. Definitely fucking sad. Give me the Ace of Pentacles. Give me the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. We got the Emperor here. So... Yeah, I'm not really thinking that this person is okay for some of you. You could be dealing with a person that already has a kid with your person, or you already have a kid with your person, or something like this. But for the most part, this is definitely an energy like they they want this with this person. They want it with this person desperately. Okay, um, they feel like this person is like what they stand for: stability. Um, uh, authority, power, some shit like that. And this is why they want, you know, this rebirth with this person. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Give me the King of Swords. Give me the King of Swords. Thank you. The Five of Cups in the reverse. Yes, yeah, see. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't want shit to end here, okay? They feel like th th it's a bit of an obsession here, right? They feel like this is just some sort of... Um, us uh, like okay they feel very disappointed by the fact that this person is coming towards you or this person is no longer interested in you i mean sorry no longer interested in them and this is why this person is being manipulative this is why this person is doing whatever they need to do um it's definitely a sense of being obsessed obsessed here because the prince of swords in the reverse here okay the prince of swords in the reverse they they play listen <laughs> They, they're very impulsive, right? Very reckless. They don't think about everything, right? They, they, they have a lack of foresight. They reckless as fuck. Could be dealing with the Capricorn or an Aquarius. Give me more here. What's the Six of Swords, Spirit? Give me more here for the Six of Swords. What's the Six of Swords? Give me more here. What's the Six of Swords? Thank you. Six of Swords again in the reverse. Can't make this shit up. <laughs> they are not letting this person go. It's like the only way you're going to get rid of them is the truth. Of making them face the fucking truth. And that's for those of you that are dealing with somebody that's fucking lying. Princess of Cups. And then the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse here, right? This person going to have to apologize for acting like they was, <laughs> they was your person's... Um, child's parent okay they're gonna have to apologize about that because this is somebody that's motherfucking first of all they greedy they're gonna be trying to ask for a lot of shit they're gonna be trying to be smothering and shit because they don't want to let go of this relationship could be dealing with the capricorn here or sagittarius we got the king of cups in the reverse yeah somebody that's toxic emotionally abusive yeah y'all see no all right, let's see what signs you guys are dealing with during this time. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, you guys. It really helps me out. All right, so we got Cancer. You can be dealing with the Cancer. We got Saturn, Capricorn energy. We got Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got Virgo. All right, we got Taurus here. All right. Let's go ahead and get a few more messages for you guys. 
Alright, thank you, Spirit, for clearing concise messages. Thank you. Alright. So we got prepare to be astounded. It says send them love, wish them peace, see them happy, everyone always forever, and prepare to be astounded. The universe, oh man, and will you ever become a big time manifester? Alright, so I really think that it's like don't be rude to this person. Alright, just you know, play your part <laughs> and let things fall like they should. All right, and then we got dwell on what you love, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.